Uh, yet again, another <laughs> news story that involves a child who is smarter than Seabass. What? And this time, Never. it's Not a toddler. It. What? Her name is Isla McNabb. She's from Kentucky. She's three years old now, but way in the past, six months ago, when she was two and a half, she made it into the Guinness Book of World Records for being the youngest person ever to become a member of Mensa. Oh, oh, and oh wow. Crushing it. So, Look at that. Yeah, yeah, wow. you, she started reading at the age of two. She started spelling at two. She scored in the 99th percentile for IQ in her age range. Mm -hmm. And in just general standardized IQ tests, she scored in the 98th percentile. Parents say that she's- Wait, wait, wait. In, the, in a, like an adult IQ test, she's 98th percent? Well, her parents say she's strong in every subject, especially math and reading. They say it's challenging to be around her sometimes because she thinks she's on par with the adults. Uh, <laughs> hey, she wrote a song for you, Seabass. Oh. I'm smarter than you. I'm smarter than you. I'm smarter than you. A couple things, as I have always said. I don't know where this idea that I'm the smartest person in the world came from. Oh, I wonder. But second off, as I've always said, I appreciate that Mensa gets in the news when these stories come out, but it is a bit of a, a bit of a gimmick. Mm. What does it water down Mensa for you? Well, yeah, it does because it says. <laughs> again, I, I know why they is do it. Is that special? I feel less special. I know why they do it, mm -hmm. but really, it should be adults only. Oh, adults. Okay. But what about if this kid is super smart? Then, and then, then she can join when she turns eighteen. Is there like Mensa Junior or something? <laughs> like, but, but what? But what it's not like you guys have get-togethers or anything, right? Well, we do. Yeah, oh, you do? do. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You we have, have parties? Uh, regional gatherings. Oh, that's fun. Gatherings. Those are cool parties. <laughs> dude, my parents everybody's used to correcting each other. Well, actually, yeah, yeah. They <laughs> crushed. Dude. I'm they, in charge of the punch. Was it the chain smokers at the last one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was bottle service. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was awesome, man. Yeah. 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 Do you correct people when they order a martini and there's <laughs> vodka in yeah, there? Oh, a martini is gin, actually. It's everybody standing around having drinks, correcting each other. And arguing the whole time. Helping each other. See, again, stupid people think that being correct is a bad Thing. Uh, actually, or you should be <laughs> saying thank you for imparting wisdom upon me. Oh, now you know about manners and saying oh. thank you. Yeah, it's just one big room of condensation. <laughs> condensation? Oh. Get it? It's raining in there. Yeah, it's yeah. so sweaty. It's Cond so moist. Condensation. Condescension. <laughs> Condescension. <laughs> What's yes. the word I, was, I had the hardest time saying earlier? Oh, demonstrable. Demonstrable. Yeah. Yes, and, and demonstrable. I'm, the be, I'm the one to be mocked here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, my God. Actually, it's <laughs> condensation. <Yeah. laughs> uh, the famous house from your favorite movie, Woody, A Christmas Story, has been sold. Again? Kind of. It's, no, they've been looking it, for they've a... They've been trying to sell Yeah, it's basically been bought out, I guess you'd put it that way. There was a lot of drama around the sale because the group that managed it planned to sell it. At one point, a group of actors from the movie wanted to buy it together. But yeah, because that guy, we had him on the show years ago yeah. when he first bought it. Like, it was just a regular residential home. That they right. used for the exterior for the movie. Then the inside did not match at all. Yeah, he bought it for like a steal, right? right. Nothing. He bought it for like two hundred thousand or something like that. Right. Put a bunch of money into it, kind of like they did with that Brady house, you know, for they, HGTV. They turned the inside. So the inside then also matched what you saw in the movie. And then made it a made it a museum spot. So people can go there and tour the Christmas Story house. Then they bought the house across the street, made that a gift shop. Then they bought the uh, the Bumpus's house, which is right next door, right. made that into something. And now it's a place where you can go. You can spend the night there. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's open and, uh, every day from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. And they made, oh God, this guy made so much they money. They made a ton of money. Off this whole thing. And uh, so then, you know, what about, was it last year? Yeah, a group of actors. Announced that they were, that they were he was going to sell it. Right. And then that deal fell through. So what happened was Joshua Dickerson, who is the CEO of the Christmas Story House, uh, is, the, is the one who basically has everything in his name now. The founder of the group running the house uh, says that Joshua did all the work behind the scenes, so it's only fitting that he is now the new owner. So he has basically majority stake. Yeah, that's cool. So the company behind it will still be involved, but Josh has taken the uh, equity stake in the house and is going to run that operation. Yeah, because they were so being... So they didn't necessarily sell it, per se, but he's going to take over. They were being wow. really picky about because a ton of people obviously expressed interest in buying it, but they were going to be really picky about who they chose. And oh. yeah, it was a whole process. I even went on the website just to click and see what the application process. You had to submit like an essay. You had to give all this information. Yeah, it was crazy what they were asking. Character they, references. They must Character have changed references, yeah. their minds because at first when they said we we're thinking about selling it, people could do whatever the hell they wanted, make it a private residence if right. they wanted. Oh, but really? I think it's worth almost $2 million now. Mm. Something. I mean, Something. God, what a... It's a lot. What a return. I know. It's pretty cool. one movie. Yeah. Well, that's the latest one. All right. Thank you very much, Greg Gorey.